Lord. Mighty God, we reverence you that it's Jesus. You are awesome, mighty God. You are excellent, mighty God. Father, you are the King of all kings. You are the religious, mighty God. You are the Lion of Judah. So we call it to your sanctuary to give you honor for a life that was well made. Mighty God, I pray right now for all that will be said and done. Mighty God, I place the my servant before you as we break the word, mighty God. It will never fall on the toil, but fall on your hearts, mighty God. That we are believers, may crack a grip, mighty God. And the unsaveable God will come to run for rescue. Mighty God, have you only right now. Oh Father, the words in heaven, hallowed be your name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, Jesus. Thank you. 
is broken. Shortly after Ashi was born, I went to Kingston. So I wasn't here for most of his growing up years. But after coming back in 2012, he and I developed a relationship so good, so great, it seems as if I never missed out on his growing up. Whilst Ashi was going to Troy High School, in the mornings he would never pass the house and don't tell me that he's leaving for school. And he would do the same on his way back. As she knows that I like Rose Young. So whenever he does that, no matter how small he is, he would make it his point of beauty to let me get a little peace. I have never seen Ashi got upset. He's always smiling. Anything you ask Ashi to do, once he can do it, he would never say no. One more thing that I admire about him, not really admire, but most times he would jokingly say to me, Sure, you know, say after five o'clock, me not be here. <laughs> and he said, Ashi, what do you mean when you say after five o'clock, me not be here? Whether it is summer or winter or autumn, he would say, Me not be here, Cher, me not be here. So you know what happened? Me I got tidy. <laughs> so most evenings, if five o'clock should catch him on the road, you would hear him passing, Cher, Cher. Me I got beat. Sorry. Share, share. Me I got tidy you now. Me I got tidy. Ashi, you will be greatly missed. It is hard. It is extremely hard, but rest in peace, my jeans. I love you. Mm. I faced a mountain that I never faced before. That's why I'm calling on you, Lord. I know it's been a while, but Lord, please hear my cry. I need your life. I never had it before. Sometimes it takes a
as she was the banker of the family, I would ask him to give someone money um, and he would do it in a heartbeat. Once I pay him back with a check, of course. One summer, his auntie is like his sister that he needs to learn how to read before he head back to Trelawney. And he spent the entire summer learning how to read books where other children were playing around and watching the room. Even when Ashley was in his last moment, weak and tired, he assured me that he was okay and that everything would be okay. So I say to you, Ashley, until we meet again, I will see you in my dreams. I was the gift, and I know Ashley will be with us forever. I love you, nephew. I love you, faithful.
you should be reminding you just help me sing this song. I really don't. I sing it. Though I may see you.
the forest. He maketh me to lie down in good pastures. He leadeth me beside still water. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk to the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup with it. Open, verse 6 and tell me, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Don't let me leave behind you.
with the time that you have left on this earth, will we make it right with God? Will we say, I surrender all, all to be my blessed Savior? I surrender all. When death strikes close, we're reminded of the uncertainty and the brevity of life. The fact, my brothers and sisters, is that life is short. And it is pictured in James chapter 4 as a vapor that appears but for a little moment and it quickly vanishes away. The psalmist spoke of the brevity and the brief nature of life when he said the life of mortals is like grass. They flourish like a flow of the the wind blows and it is gone quick and his place remembers it no more again the psalms reminds us our days may come to 70 years or 80 for strength and yours yet the best of them are but trouble and sorrow but they quickly pass and they will find a way. But also reminded that death is common to all. It is appointed out to man. Death will happen. Each of us must die. It's appointed out to us once to die. But after that comes the great judgment when we will stand before the great judge to answer for our lives. Although we usually try to keep the thought far from us today, especially we're made to realize that someday we all must step from this life into another that is without end. A life without end is eternity. How will you spend it? Each of us will have our individual funerals conducted. We might ask ourselves, what memories will I leave? Will my loved ones and friends feel hurt? What will they leave? But most importantly, what will my destiny be? Since we cannot evade the death, and since we are really never more than one step from eternity, we must prepare constantly to meet our God. When death strikes close to us, we see more clearly the futility of the earthly things that we hold so dear. Life, my brothers and sisters, is too precious. Happiness, joy, and peace are too valuable to be neglected, not to be lost by rushing after the material things that at best last us only for a few days. Job has said, naked I came from my mother's womb and naked shall I. You can get it all in this life, but at the point of death it is of no use to us. That's why first Timothy 6, 6 and 8 says, But godliness will, with contentment, this great gain. For we brought nothing into this world, and we can keep nothing out of it. But if we have food and clothing, we shall be content with that. Do not store up the earthly things. But look to Jesus for the spiritual treasures that are to be laid up in heaven where moth, wrath can bite it, dark can it, to save them. 
the arms and the bosom of Jesus. So set your minds on things above, not on the earthly things. When death strikes close to us, we see how much we really do need Jesus Christ. There's one time in our lives that we cry out to Jesus the most is at the point of death. We need him to save us from our sinfulness, to lead us safely through life, to give us strength and comfort, to be with us when we must walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Jesus passed through this. And he said, we weep, but do not weep as they who have no hope. So let us always remember that we too, each of us go through our bad experiences. But we are comforted by the fact that there is a good shepherd who cares for us, who guides us, who guards us, who protects us. So Revelation 2 and 7 says, Whosoever has ears, let them hear what the Spirit of God is saying to each of us. So all of us are busy in conclusion writing our the history of our lives. Each hour we write a paragraph, each day we write a page each week. We write a division each year. We write a chapter and at the end we finish the book. Each of us has a story to write. What is your story? And if you have one year to live, hold this end. Let's even narrate down a little further, as I said earlier. At any moment, we can be gone. The question is, will we make it right with God? Will we lay up treasures in heaven? Will we continue to hold on to the earthly things? Think of these things in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the blessed Holy Spirit. Did I give all the time to your holy word? May it be a lantern to our feet to light to our path, strength to our lives. We pray God that your words have taken root in our soul, in our heart, in our mind, to me. Let's pray for Christ, O oh Lord. Amen.
Township, where he lived in this very community for over 40 years. His mother learned her baking skills at my kitchen at the teacher's cottage, and after she left for the Turks and Caicos Islands, would always call and text to say how oh, much she has been benefited from his skills. His uncle, Jolly, still takes my young sticks to Mandeville yearly and will never pass my gate without stopping to find out how you are doing. And Miss Eileen would always drop off the goodies when she gets her batteries. During my tenure as principal here at Blue River, a choice Saturday GSAP exam and was placed at the Choi High School. I remember clearly the quiet demeanor he displayed on the day of the examination results. While other students placed at Choi High were crying and were very disgruntled, he stood by himself and never said a word. It wasn't until he became ill in 2018 and was admitted to the Mandeville Regional Hospital that he reconnected. The day after his surgery, I heard that he was there and I went to see him. Being a vegetarian at the time, the hospital did not cater to his meals, so I volunteered to take his lunch in the days. This would also save his grandmother the trouble of visiting so very early in the days. She then submitted my name at the office as the next of him, surprisingly, who would speak to the medical team on his progress and inform his family accordingly. As Sean looked forward to his lunch and expressed how grateful he was for his meals. Whenever I could not go, I would ask my husband or anyone on the premises who drove. I would never leave his bedside without praying with him and for him. And he expressed on several occasions that he knew that the Lord was taking care of his head. The doctors and nurses at the Manitou Regional Hospital didn't hesitate to say how respectful and humble he was. They all loved him. Every call to take him was discharged. Johnny was there waiting on me, and one of the nurses dopey me asked him, where are you going? Saying that they were going to miss him dearly. They had grown to love him so much. On Mother's Day, May 8, 2022, he called to wish me Happy Mother's Day. His exact words were, and I quote, You have been a mother to many of us, but you have been a special mother to me, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. There are some persons there who like to, one or two persons, to uh, really, you know, highlight him a little bit, not much, say this or two. People were there for him. I must acknowledge Jolly and uh, Daisy, who were there for him in and out of the hospital, and they were also there while he was ill at home with them. Commendations to you. Also to his parents, his mother, Marion, and grandparents, who were always there for him, and who and the other family members who worked very hard to ensure that all the financial bills were covered. God bless you, uh, people. I am really imploring the youth of this community and its environs to emulate the outstanding qualities of Ashani. He was a role model. My entire family expressed our sincerest condolences to his family.
Lord, even from everlasting to everlasting, who are God. You turn people back to dust, saying, Return to dust, you mortals. A thousand years in your sight are like a day that has just gone by, or like a watch in the night. Yet you sweep, you sweep away people in the sleep of death. They are like the new grass of the morning. In the morning, it sprouts new. But by evening, it is dry and withered. Such was the life of Nahiel Ashani Kaur. On April 11, 1997, a new day dawned in the Mendes and Cowan families. At the Mayfield Hospital in Clarendon, the radiance of spring illumined their lives and home when Marion Mendes and Desmond Cowan welcomed the birth of their son. They named him Nathiel Ashawani. Nathiel Ashawani means a strong and stimulating person. You brighten the corner where you are, and your love for things matter. These characteristics epitomize him. When he was two months old, his mother returned to Lime Tree, Chilomani, where he lived until the time of his passing. Ashawani received his early education at the Low River Basic School, from where he transitioned to the Low River Primary and the Junior High School. The next climb of his educational pursuit led him to the Joy High, where he was placed after sitting the TSA exams. The legacy we should leave for our children are not so much the healthy values, but the Christian values we inculcate in them. So at the Low River United Church, where Ashawnee attended, he was a member of the Boys' Brigade and the Sunday School. On January 6, 2018, Ashawnee became very ill and was rushed to the Mandeville Regional Hospital where he underwent an emergency surgery. We are happy that he lived four and a half years after, affording him time to live, laugh, and love. He had a merry laughter, a cheerful smile, and a calm demeanor, and exuded great warmth and love for his family and friends, and with all those with whom he came in contact. The writer where he after writes, pen these words and I quote, Greatness is not found in possessions, power, position, or prestige. It is discovered in humility and a strong character. End of quote. Not yet short life embodied this thought. On Ju July 16, 2022, man's greatest enemy, death, snatched him away. And one writer aptly puts it, the pain of death is living, the dead are free. End of quote. Still mourning his passing are, are his parents, Marian Mendes and Desmond Cohen, his siblings, Brandina Brown and Kamari Downer. His grandparents, Eileen and Deborah Mendes, Victoria and Neville Cohen, aunts, uncles, and a host of other relatives and friends. We cannot know thy purpose, but all is well that's done by thee. Sleep on us, we will meet again on that great getting of morning. <laughs>
the peace of God which is beyond all understanding, guard your hearts and your thoughts in Christ to Jesus. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit to be with you now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. I invite you on the table to come. And he's going to turn the casket. Ask that everybody else remains in their seats. Go to move. Those who are in the aisle, I want to ask you to just clear the aisles for me, please. So we ask that no one moves. That should be quiet for a moment.
How far do I walk from? Yeah, man, me there, me there, you know, the tree, see you when the mother walk. You know, see? Me not hear him.
Let me call you my brother boy. I never know I wouldn't see you again. God, I wish I could see you again. It's burning me out in my skin. And I'm sorry to see you once more. For a time, I wish I could see you again. God, I wish I could see you again. I remember the days I were chilling. This time, you have to remember the living. Kitchen and big she pass here in her ease up. Be a lime, a squeeze up. White rice and curry chicken. In farm, I ever come with the lipping. Una, come be and say the I grade a bus. They made a complaint, say the music kicking. So, life a life, but to roll and roll and the whole place don't know. So, move cool and if a boy try flipping over, it was boom. If and if I rock his hair, I'll kick it for quick thing I click. But me never know the life. Was a bitch, cause always they would put on me. But me never knew a say I would have gone so soon. God know me night when me all the boy will make you feel the green stack. Me see your mother feel the pain hard. But now I cry, me know you cry along with me. Cause me see the rain fall. Burning me out in my skin, and I'm so to see you once more. For a time, I wish I could see you again. God, I wish I could see you again. It's burning me out in my skin. And I'm sorry to see you once more. For a time, I wish I could see you again. God, I wish I could see you again. Condolence goes out to all of those who lost the family. Friends, are a friend. If you lost a friend, you lost a friend. Mm, you lost a family, yeah, or a relative. Yeah, are a friend, are a friend. All life you have to live, so live in the best you can. Yo, yeah, Zoom, I've dreamt about my own death, which makes me appreciate life more. I've also had dreams about my own life, which makes me appreciate that more. Gone away, yeah. Gone away, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gone away, yeah. Gone away, yeah. Gone away. Put up your light up for your friend and we pass away. Gone away. Your day has to the day tomorrow. You gone away. Gone away, yeah. Me feel it for you because it's just a reason why they. Gone away. Somebody wake him Done with the joke Tell me say I played him But me cry when me see your dead body You don't in a coffin And a good dung in a grave And me really want to know where you're bound Miss you but me have to carry on Me wish R.I.P. Me in return if possible But me know that can go on Me ask why You're gone away Put up your light up To your friend And we pass away I'm gone away Your day has a two dead Then tomorrow you're gone A reason why they gone away, yeah, gone away, yeah, hey, yeah. On the plans why you done, Mac. That's why it really hurt me, aunt. You say you didn't get your son yet. Look how we plan about the things where we soon do. But it's like say that soon they can't come yet. Me wonder when me I go see you back. I could have just seen my dreams. Me no care if it's even that. Right now me lose me fear. Me hurt me, try me can't understand that. I won't feel alone. Gone away. Put up your light up to your friend and we pass away. Gone away. Your day has a two dead then tomorrow you gone away. Gone away, yeah. Me feel it for you, cause we 
just a reason why they
We brought nothing into this world and we'll take nothing out. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be in the name of the Lord. As in Adam Oh, 
As we invite the workmen to come and to seal the vault, we lift our voices together and sing it. when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound, then time shall be no more. And the morning breaks eternal bright and fair. When the saved of earth shall gather over all the earth shore. When the rolling of yonder of the day. When the world is called of yonder, 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 on the bright and cloudless and the Lord will always raise the nation and the Lord is all of yonder and the Lord is all of yonder Let us talk of all his wonders, love and care. Then when all of life is over and the work on earth is done, and the road is called of yonder, I'll be there. When the way of the Lord, the Lord is called of yonder. When the road is called of yonder. When the word of the Lord is called of yonder. Pull that one, it's still a seven. When the well of the Lord is called of when the well of the Lord is called of yonder, when the well of the Lord is called of yonder, when the well of the Lord is called of yonder, when the We will understand. 
We don't look good.
but so that we should with all our hearts live and come closer to you. Be merciful to us then and take us by the hand and lead us to life evermore. We live in your care, almighty God, the family that continues to mourn. Be close to them, we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen and Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Set up the panel channel. Deal with YouTube. Yeah, I'm not. 
Listen to me, please. Open it fast. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Uh, whoa, come.